the RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile, or Standard Missile 6 is a missile in current production for the United States Navy. It was designed for extended-range anti-air warfare purposes providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, and anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land. The missile uses the airframe of the earlier SM-2 Air Block 4 missile, adding the active radar homing seeker from the AIM-120C AMRAM in place of the semi-active seeker of the previous design. This will improve the capability of the standard missile against highly agile targets, and targets beyond the effective range of the launching vessel's target illumination radars. Initial operating capability was planned for 2013 and has been successfully achieved on November 27, 2013. The SM-6 is not meant to replace the SM-2 series of missiles, alongside which it will serve, but does give extended range and increased firepower. Description the standard ERAM is a two-stage missile with a booster stage and a second stage. It is similar in appearance to the RIM-156A standard missile. The radar seeker is an enlarged version adapted from the AIM-120C AMRAM seeker. The missile may be employed in a number of modes, inertial guided to target with terminal acquisition using active radar seeker, semi-active radar homing all the way, or an over-the-horizon shot with cooperative engagement capability. The missile is also capable of terminal ballistic missile defense as a supplement to the standard missile 3. And like other missiles of the standard family, the standard ERAM can be periodically tested and certified without removal from the VLS cell. The SM-6 offers extended range over previous SM-2 series missiles, primarily being able to intercept very high-altitude or sea-skimming anti-ship missiles. The missile is also slated to perform terminal phase ballistic missile defense. It can discriminate targets using its dual-mode seeker, with the semi-active seeker relying on a ship-based illuminator to highlight the target, and the active seeker having the missile itself send out an electromagnetic signal. The active seeker has the ability to detect a land-based cruise missile amid ground features, even from behind a mountain. The multi-mission SM-6 is engineered with the aerodynamics of an SM-2, the propulsion booster stack of the SM-3, and the front-end configuration of the AMRAM. History, Raytheon entered a contract in 2004 to develop this missile for the United States Navy, after the cancellation of the standard missile to extend it range block IVA. Development started in 2005, followed by testing in 2007. The missile was officially designated RIM-174A in February 2008. Initial low-rate production was authorized in 2009. Raytheon received a $93 million contract to begin production of the RIM-174A in September 2009. The first low-rate production missile was delivered in March 2011. SM-6 was approved for full-rate production in May 2013 and the first full-production missile will be delivered in April 2015. As of 2013 the program is scheduled to build 1,200 missiles at a total cost of $6,167.8 million, at a flyaway cost of $4.3 million. On October 3, 2013 Raytheon was awarded a contract for 89 standard missile 6-block I all-up rounds, spares, containers and services by the U.S. Navy. On November 27, 2013 Standard ERAM achieved IOC when it was fielded on board Asakida, DDG-100. During exercises from 18 to 20 June 2014, Asa John Paul John Iza, DDG-53, fired four SM-6 missiles. One part of the exercise, designated NIFC Car ASO-2A resulted in the longest surface-to-air engagement in naval history. The exact range of the intercept was not publicly released. On August 14, 2014, an SM-6 was test-fired against a subsonic, low-altitude cruise missile target and successfully intercepted it over land. A key element of the test was to assess its ability to discern a slow-moving target among ground clutter. On October 24, 2014, Raytheon announced the two SM-6 missiles intercepted anti-ship and cruise missile targets during engage-on remote scenarios. A low-altitude, 
short-range supersonic GQM-163A and a low-altitude, medium-range subsonic BQM-74E were shot down by SM-6s fired from a guided missile cruiser using targeting information provided by a guided missile destroyer. Advanced warning and queuing from other ships allows the missiles over the horizon capability to be more greatly utilized so a single ship is able to defend a larger area. See also, RIM-66 standard medium range, RIM-67 standard extended range, RIM-161 standard missile 3, references. External links, HTTP, www.globalsecurityorg system 6 htm HTTP, www.designationsystems NETM 174 HTML.